You're watching CFD Trading Insights. I'm Mark Laudy. Alex Douglas from City Index is here with us once more. Alex, you've talked us through now the, pl the platform and the various functionalities. Now take us through step by step how you actually go about placing a trade. Okay, well the first thing of course is to log on to the trading platform. Uh, once you've done that, we, uh, let's suppose in this instance we wish to trade Euro dollars. Uh, we're going to trade currencies. Mm -hmm. So we select currencies from our drop down menu. Uh, if we're looking to trade Euro dollars, we select Euro dollars here. If we click on the trade tab, uh, this will automatically populate the trading tab or ever trading window over on the right hand side with current live market prices. Now, if we wish to tra transact at the current market price, simply type in the quantity of the trade that we wish to, to take. Mm -hmm. uh, if you wish, you can also place a stop loss at the same time and a limit to take profit. Uh, in this instance, we'll just place the, the order to, let's say, we'll buy at this time. So we're going to be buying at current market price. Uh, let's see, current bid is 1.4816, 1.4819 is the offer. So we're going to be buying at 19. So we hit the buy button there. Mm -hmm. And here's our trade confirmation, quick as that. So we have bought 10 CFDs on the euro dollar uh, at a price of 1.4819, the market price. Right. Okay. Now, if we come to our open positions, we can see that order down here sitting in our open positions. So we've bought 10 of them, mm -hmm. and the price was 1.4819. All right. And, right, well, that's very straightforward, just like uh, trading your equities. Very usually. simple. Mm -hmm. Very simple to do. Now, if we wish to take a slightly more advanced order, mm -hmm. um, we might, sticking with the example of Euro dollar, uh, if we click on the chart icon over here on the right hand side, yes. the chart window will pop up. And here we have Euro dollar chart. Uh, this time we're looking at a five minute chart. And you can see that we've had a bit of a range forming here on Euro dollar for the last hour or so. Mm -hmm. Let's suppose our more advanced strategy this time is to catch a breakout from this range. We don't really know which way it's going to go, but we want to place an order that will catch a breakout whichever direction the market moves in. First thing, of course, is to identify the rough range that we're looking at. So we've got the lows down here at about 1.4808. Mm -hmm. And on the top side, highs up here, 1.4825. So we want to place orders that will catch a breakout from that range. And it looks like things are moving around, so we'd better do this quickly. Um, okay, first of all, we're going to place an order to buy above the market. So let's place this order at 1.4830 uh -huh. with a stop loss just down below this range, let's say 1.4805. So 1.4830, 1.4805. So we come back to our trading window, uh, Euro dollar. This time we're going to click on the order button, mm -hmm. which opens up the orders tab in the trading window over here. Now this is a little more advanced. We're placing a buy order. Uh, let's suppose again we decide to, tra let's, let's trade 15 lots this time. Okay. So we type 15 in there. Uh, the price we said we were going to put in 1.4830. That's right. Uh, and we can leave this order in place until we cancel it or until the end of the day or until a specific time that we nominate. Uh, in this example, we'll just leave it as an order that is good until we cancel it. Now, this is just the entry at 148.30. If we decide to put that stop loss on the trade mm -hmm. at, uh, I think we said 1.4805, yes. we enter the price in here. And again, for the quantity of 15, uh, our limit, this would be our take profit order if we decided to put in a level to take profit at. So let's put this in, let's say 1.5. 1.500. Right. Uh, again, for the full quantity of 15. So once we're happy with our entry level and our stop loss and our limit or take profit order, we hit the confirm button and we'll get our order confirmation ticket will appear and it'll have the full details of this trade. So here it is saying that we now have an order in the system uh, to buy 15 CFDs at 1.4830. Because this price is above the current market price, it is automatically becomes a stop entry order. Mm -hmm. And if that order is executed, we have these two contingent orders listed down below here. One, of course, is the stop loss at 148.05, and one is the take profit at 1.5. Right. Now, if we close that, up, close that little window, go to our active orders tab down below, mm -hmm. we will be able to see that order in Euro dollars. Here it is, highlighted in gray. Yes. So we've got an order in here uh, to buy 15 lots at 1.4830. When it reaches that level. Now, if we look at our chart again for a moment, so that was to catch a break to the top side. If we want to also place an order to catch a break to the downside, because we don't know which way it's going, mm -hmm. uh, we can go to, our, return to our trading window. If we look in the active orders tab, mm -hmm. 
find the trade that we've already placed. Right, so we're not placing a new one. This is, it's, 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 this, the existing one is the order to catch a break to the top side. Mm -hmm. We're now placing another order to catch a break to the downside. Mm -hmm. But they're going to be linked orders. Yes. They're going to be one cancels the other, or that, OCO. And that's why you're in the bottom half of the screen rather than in the top half. Of yes, it. yeah, because we're finding the existing trade and we're placing a new trade which is going to be linked to this first one. Mm -hmm. And so as an OCO order, only one of them will ever be executed. The other one will be cancelled immediately. So we've got our buy order. This time we're placing a sell order. Uh, now let's suppose this time we want to, again, trade 15 contracts, 15 CFDs. Uh, the price, let's say we want to sell if we hit 1.4802 this time. Mm -hmm. uh, our stop loss. Just, we'll place the stop loss just above the, uh, the range. We had an uh, uh, upper end of the range of 1.4825, so let's place our stop loss at 1.4830. Uh, we may look to take profit on this trade. On this, this, this is if it breaks down. Mm -hmm. Because um, this is a short. This will be a short trade if it gets mm -hmm. executed. Uh, let's suppose we place this one at 1.4625, just for the sake of argument. And again, it'll be for 15 CFDs. Okay, once we're happy with our entry level and our stop and our limit, we hit the confirm button. This time the trade confirmation ticket is going to show both orders sitting side by side as one cancels other orders. Mm -hmm. So here we have our initial order. This is the order to buy a break to the top side, uh, to buy at 148.30. If that order on the left is executed, then the order on the right will be deleted from the system automatically. Whichever one of these is executed, the other one will automatically disappear. So returning to our chart for a moment, uh, we now have orders in place that will catch either a break to the top side or a break to the downside. And each one of them, in this instance, we've, we've also placed a stop loss on the trade. So if we get a false breakout and then the market turns around and goes the other way, it'll protect us from, from uh, it'll, it'll minimize the losses. Thank you very much, Alex Douglas. And you can interact with us through this website. Click Apply for a demo account to try the City Index platform risk-free and discover the features of the live account. Or click here if you want to jump right in and apply for a live account straight away. To learn more about CFDs, download the 10 Golden Rules of CFD Trading by clicking here. Or ask us any question you like about CFDs through this form. Trading CFD and FX on margin carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. Consider your investment objectives, level of experience and risk appetite carefully. The possibility exists that you could lose some or all of your investments. If in doubt, please seek independent advice. This program is prepared solely for information purposes only without regard to any particular user's investment objectives, financial situation or means. Past performance of the investments and any economic or market predictions, projections or forecasts are not necessarily indicative of future or likely performance. No representation or warranty expressed or implied of any nature is made, nor is any responsibility of any kind accepted with respect to the completeness or accuracy of any information, projection, illustration, representation or warranty expressed or implied in or omission from these clips.